Continue in Eugene for the fifth day in honor of George Floyd with no curfew in place. People in our community marching for hours. Thank you for joining us. I'm China Green. We'll take you live there right now. KZI 9 News reporter Connor McCarthy has been following this protest since 4 this evening. And Connor, where exactly are you and what's going on there tonight? Well, China, I'm in Kesey Square right now, and these protests actually started about 3.30 when I saw a group started to form in front of the federal courthouse. And for s nearly seven hours, they marched through downtown Eugene. Now, there is no curfew tonight imposed by the city of Eugene. As you can see behind me, there is still a large group of people here in Kesey Square, and they all stopped here shortly before 10 this evening. Now, the protesters marched well over five miles today. They did one lap through downtown went back to the federal courthouse, listened to speeches, then did a second lap. They walked west to Charlton and then all the way east to the University of Oregon campus. The video you have been looking at is from the last leg of protests when they made their way to Kesey Square. One protester says he was proud of the group for keeping the, it peaceful throughout the night. I knew we could do it. I honestly have so much faith in this community. I was there Friday and I saw the vandalism and that wasn't us. That was not Black Lives Matter. Midas says he will continue to plan to protest in the coming days, and he says the protests don't stop here. And China, I do want to stress tonight that these protests were peaceful throughout the night for those seven hours, and more protests are planned for the future, and we will have updates on those protests in the coming days. Live in Eugene, Connor McCarthy, KZI 9 News. Connor.